I was scrolling through so FIFA the other day and I discovered quite a lot of teams that I don't think I've ever seen anyone play a career mode with on Twitter, Reddit or in my Discord. I thought it would be a cool idea to maybe create a video explaining why some of these teams are so interesting and hopefully I could inspire some of you guys to actually give them a chance inside career mode. So today we're talking about five teams that I've never seen anyone use and are really not that popular even on so FIFA. So we're going to be starting in Holland. Of course FC20 are a Dutch club and they're probably most famous for the 2010 season. They secured their only Eredivis title under the management of Steve McLaren and the team displayed quite an impressive style of play, a lot of ball control and possession but also players winning individual one-on-one -on -one battles. This triumph was pretty important for FC20 and the fans still look back on this season very very fondly. If we fast forward 8 years though, FC20 faced a very different challenge. They had the threat of relegation and unfortunately they did succumb to dropping down to the second tier. The team went up and down for a while but in the current season 2023-4 there's actually quite a lot of optimism because FC20 find themselves third in the table. They're not going to win the league, they're already 9 points behind PSV but second or third is definitely possible for this team. As you step into the manager's shoes on FIFA career mode, I think the goal is to try and recreate some of that 20 2010 season's magic, adopting maybe the Steve McLaren style of play and having a career mode that's focused on the Dutch's favourite pastime which of course is developing young footballers. In FIFA they have three very good young talents already, Mies Hilgers, a 22 year old centre back with an impressive potential of 83, Manfred Ugalde is a 21 year old striker from Costa Rica with 82 potential and Yuri Riga is 19 years old at right back, centre mid and left back with 81 potential. So if you can develop some of these players they could also be contributing to the pinnacle of Dutch football, of course, the national team. I think if you can develop FC20 to get a second title, you'll have had a pretty interesting career mode and definitely one that you'll remember for quite a while. They're worth giving a go and I'm surprised more people haven't already tried to do this in the past. Let's switch continents now to North America, where DC United have a really good history in the MLS. They had four MLS Cups in the first 10 years, however now they've been 18 seasons without even appearing in the final. This has really cast a shadow over the team. Your mission is to try and break this dry spell and bring some glory back to Washington DC. They've had some very impressive MLS players. Freddie Adu, I'm sure you've heard all about him, but Wayne Rooney and Bill Hamid have also left their mark in DC. Despite having some very good players, only Freddie Adu has ever tasted any success with the club. As their new manager, the goal of course is clear, try and win an MLS Cup as soon as possible. Additionally, you should also focus on nurturing some more homegrown talents. Freddie Adu at one point was the highest rated player on potential on the entire game of FIFA. If you can find another Freddie Adu, you can also try and improve the national team and maybe even be the first Washington based sports team to win a title since the Washington Nationals did in 2019. So if we shift now to Scotland, Aberdeen stands as the last team outside of Celtic and Rangers to have won the Scottish Premier League, but still barely anyone uses them in career mode. They achieved this feat in 1985 under the management, of course, of Sir Alex Ferguson. Your challenge is to try and rekindle Aberdeen's past glory by trying to win a Scottish League title with them. While of course you could make the big two in Scotland into a big three with Aberdeen, you could also try and emulate Alex Ferguson's career by eventually moving to an English club that's struggling and then you'll probably have about 10 or so seasons to try and match as many titles and competition wins as he did. If you want an even bigger challenge, why don't you also take over the Scottish national team, a team that's never made it out of the group stage at any World Cup ever. If you can try and reach a semi-final, even a quarter final, I think you'd probably become one of the most legendary managers that Scotland have ever ever had. A club and country save is always super fun, I always recommend them, you're building up two different teams and even when the league becomes easy, the international competitions you'll still be playing against teams like Spain, England, Brazil, France so I really do also recommend you possibly give this one a go. Another team that I think is definitely worth more attention than they get is Espanyol. They held a comfortable mid-table position in La Liga for years and years but last year they got relegated into the second division. But that's probably a reason people don't really want to use them. If you're going to play in La Liga, you'll either go to someone like Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid or Barcelona at the top end, or you'll go to someone down the bottom to try and rescue them from relegation. I think Espanyol is actually a really good second division side though, because they're based in Catalonia in the same city as Barcelona, and I think you could turn them into sort of a Catalonian version of Athletic Bilbao. 
try and sign as many Catalan players as possible. There's lists of these out on SoFIFA and they're actually a lot better than the Basque region for producing players. These self-imposed challenges really do make the journey a bit tougher, but ultimately more rewarding if you can overtake Barcelona with a squad that's entirely full of players that would have usually come through their academy, I think that would be an absolutely top class career mode. Finally, I also think that Paris FC, of course a club based in the capital of France, would be a really cool career mode. I have seen one or two people use this team, but back when they first were added into the game, it seemed like every other save was with Paris FC, trying to overcome Paris Saint-Germain. While PSG have never actually won the Champions League, you could try and do it with Paris FC in a different way. Of course, France's youth academies at the minute are pumping out amazing talent after amazing talent, and Paris FC are just one of many, many small clubs in the capital city. If you can develop your academy, build your team in a totally different way to PSG, then that again would be a really interesting and really fun career mode save. There's also a ton of players out there who were actually born in Paris, so you could try and build some kind of a homegrown squad, everyone from Paris, it would be quite tough, but I think any kind of youth academy save with Paris FC would be really interesting. They do actually have a couple of players who already have quite high potential, so why don't you see if you can bring some of them along for the ride? But as manager, I think the objective is clear. Try and embrace an organised defensive style with quick counter-attacks, play in a totally different way to PSG, try and cultivate some skillful players, make your own squad that doesn't need a Neymar, Messi and Mbappe to win the title. It'll probably take you about 10 or so seasons to do it, but you could easily become the best side in Paris, of course surpassing the much more renowned PSG. I think every one of the saves that I've talked about today has a unique set of challenges and opportunities, whether it's reliving some past glories or breaking a dry spell like it was for DC United, creating a new footballing powerhouse for Paris FC. I think FIFA career mode this year has some really good underrated squads out there. And I hope this video helped you discover at least one or two saves that you could definitely do in your next career modes. But thank you for watching. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this or more videos about FIFA career mode. And I'll see you soon. Cheers and goodbye.